It's okay if I lean forward. Yeah, my yeah, back please, is just aching. It's aching. Yeah, you're good. Do you want a pillow behind your back? Well, those little ones. Yeah. How's that, this one? That's good, I guess. I'm Smith Hart uh, from Calgary, Alberta. I'm 68 years old. I'm in phase four, or stage four, I guess they call it, uh, terminal cancer. It's uh, prostate cancer that's gone all over my skeleton. It's gone into my femurs, my ribs, collarbone, chest, back, spine, hips, it's everywhere. It's the hardest thing I've ever dealt with in my life. We grew up in a really strange backdrop for a family. We lived in the wrestling world, really in the heart of the wrestling world, the heart of the best part of the wrestling world. My dad was a legendary uh, promoter that had a lot of, some of the biggest names in, in wrestling worked for him. We used to see the wrestlers used to come to the house to get their checks. Andre the Giant, the wrestling bears, lady wrestlers, everything. We all kind of got in the business. Smith would have been the first brother to try it. Smith wasn't a real hard, dedicated athlete. He certainly had the imagination to be a great wrestler, but the physical aspect of learning how to professional wrestler didn't appeal to Smith. I ended up doing it, but I really wanted to be a, not Stu Hart the uh, Olympic wrestler, but uh, Stu Hart the promoter. You know, he wanted to emulate my father. And when we look at Smith, just something about him reminded you of my dad, mannerisms. But he was the farthest, the least liked my dad. My dad was always um, frustrated by Smith's um, lack of drive and all that kind of stuff. He had a lot of potential, and uh, he, he's just a guy that missed the train all the time. I very much enjoyed pretty good health and didn't think I needed to see doctors ever, so I didn't. Before I even knew I had cancer or saw any uh, cancer physicians or surgeons, I, I, w I had had it for probably four years and didn't even know it. I was leaving Dr. Heinemann's clinic, who comes down the elevator with Brett and his lovely wife. Later, uh, Brett and I had a chat for about an hour, and he told me all about, uh, you know, he was, he got prostate cancer and he's gonna have to uh, have his prostate removed. I didn't tell anyone for three or four or five months, mostly because I didn't want people to worry about me for so long leading into the surgery. You know, I, I can say we kind of went through the same battle at the same time, but there was a big difference with Smith. I got early detection, which is so critical. But he never got checked ever. By the time they found out that he had prostate cancer, um, it was too late. I've seen him look at me with this horrible, sad expression on look on his face, like his eyes are just somewhere else. And uh, he's like, I, I should have got checked. It's like, I know, you should have got checked. I'm, uh, it, it's almost enough to make you mad. This is a story of um, a guy that got checked and is gonna live, and a guy that didn't get checked and is gonna die. I guess from my experience, uh, men, uh, especially men, don't talk about their health. They talk about cars, they talk about, you know, bullshit. In a lot of cases, just stuff that's passing by. Great game last night, you know, big deal. Well, my advice is uh, male or female, get yourself checked out anytime. Like make a, make a, ri a ritual out of it, once a year even. You, you know, savor your health for your family's sake, for your offspring, your loved ones. In seeing Smith in the last few months, I've seen a very warm, loving side to Smith, and I think it means so much to him now, right now, to know that he's going down swinging, like he's fighting. He's doing his best to reach out and maybe get this message to as many people as possible. I think he's um, showed a lot of courage and, and uh, you know, admirable qualities as he's kind of faced what he's facing. 
kind of sad for all of us to hear him sort of say all the things that <clears throat> that my father would like to have heard him say. <clears throat> 